Hi, I'm Meta, and I'm the Digitization Assistant here at the Cambridge Historical Commission. And I'm Emily, and I'm the Assistant Archivist. So we have here some interesting examples from our glass plate and cyanotype collection. The Cambridge Historical Commission holds around 1,200 glass plate negatives that were taken by the Boston Elevated Railway between 1907 and 1912. These images were used to document the construction of the Cambridge subway as well as the East Cambridge Viaduct. So many of these images are of homes or buildings that were along the proposed route of construction, while others are taken from the same vantage point and also document the progress of construction. And many of these images were actually created from the negatives that we have in our holdings. Why did they use cyanotypes? The Boston Elevated Railway used cyanotypes because at the time they were relatively inexpensive and simple to create. Cyanotypes would have been preferred to more involved photographic processes of the time, a lot of which involved some complex chemistry and long development procedures. How did they make cyanotypes? The basis of a cyanotype is very simple. It's a sheet of paper that has been coated with a light-sensitive, iron-rich chemical solution. And it's the solution that gives the paper its cyan tone, which is known as Prussian blue. So after the paper has dried from the solution, you place a negative atop and expose the set out in sunlight for about 20 minutes or so. When you're done, you just rinse the print in running water. So a process like this would be very useful for the Boston Elevated Railway because they could just take one single glass plate negative and create many versions of a cyanotype print and distribute it to stakeholders or anyone who's interested in the progress of the construction. And if you're interested in seeing more images, you can visit our blog at cambridgehistoricalcommission.wordpress.com.